Wild dogs cry in the night, longing for some solitary company. So, look at that bad Oscar. That's 26 inches wide on the Easy Boardwalk Junior. Second log ever to be milled. First one was a smaller log, maybe about 16, 18 inches. And there's the slab. When your daughter's on the slab, a nice four by six by was that 14? I think that was 14. So I had two buddies that showed up, thank goodness. And they said, let's do the big one and see, push the boundary, see what this mill can do. Which this is a junior, not the senior. Senior's 40 inches. They say 30. I'm questioning the 30. Barely took a two inch slab off the top. Where am I at? Oh. Hey, there it is. Barely took a two-inch slab off the top. So, and you can't put the spikes, the dogs up, the metal spikes. No dice, Chicago. Because it's just, you can kind of, I think you get that one. But you can't do the clampy clamp. Clampy Johnson. I just cut my finger on that metal that I cut. Um, long story. There's my hairy hand. So, I'm going to... Put some stakes in there, some wedges, to keep the log from rocking. What happened was, the rocking, because we couldn't secure it, that drops about half inch from here to there. Can you see that? And it drops there. You can just see some wavy gravy. Don't want that. This is going to be siding. I don't have... I've got a couple more logs, 10 feet long, like this. One's a little bigger than this. I'm going to chainsaw sides next time. This one is, we'll get away with it. Once I slab one inch, because the siding's going to be one inch by 12 inches or so, 10 inches maybe, I will, I'm just going to slab right now one inchers. Once I fix, I'm going to cut three quarters off the top of this, just get rid of it. It'll be firewood. Yeah, anyways, it works. Basically, there's the uh, the idea here is that uh, the mill worked. That was, there's some nuances, word of the day. And uh, the blade lube works, the, it goes up and down, it, it cuts, pretty sharp blade. Um, it just, you know, you just don't know when you buy something brand new like this. And, how it's going to work out, but I was, not that I'm hoping, not that I was disappointed that I can't really go much bigger than this without chainsawing, if that makes sense. I mean, this log over here is just perfect. These logs, these two, I can do this by myself. These two, uh, these two here are by myself. That one there for sure, that third one, that one over there. I can PV those on. This, there's no way I would have done that by myself. So it took three of us. Probably two guys could have done it. So that's kind of the whole point because I'm doing this manual, I'm not relying on hydraulics. So, and I don't have trees. I have one more, maybe this big on the property that I'm going to cut down. Other than that, look around, bright eyes, turn around. Um, once these trees get, you know, bigger. From six to eight to ten. They average about six to eight. Some are ten. Start cutting them down for the mill. So everything's going to be like here. Here's one that came off the property. This is one of the biggest ones on the Sasquatch Ranch. Where's my tape? Uh, okay, that's ten inches. I'm going to mill this and probably get a six by six out of it on a good day. So, I've got a few of those. There's trees like that. So, I don't know what my point is. I don't know. Just, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to kill myself. It's 49 years old, you know. This is going to, this is a killer. I'm going to call friends for the next three of them that I have. 
and I don't have friends. Only one or two, you know, maybe. On a good day. All right, I'm gonna secure it and slap some more off. I have nothing to secure my little phone camera, so kiss my, I'll come back later. One of these days I'll figure something out with a camera to show you the action live from the Sasquatch Ranch. It's, uh, what do I call this thing, this channel? Something about whiskey. Off-grid and whiskey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kirk out.